sued or copyright struck. So let's see how this goes. Oh, hey, how's it going? So I did that one thing that I should never do, and that's run an update on the streaming software just before starting a stream. I'm having flashbacks of doing this six months ago, and I click stream, I hit confirm, and it's like, sorry, no drivers. Um, I tried a couple other settings real quick, and uh, nothing worked. And this only makes sense to a few of you, but down at the bottom of the list, there was this option that said X264. Allow me to show you something. Uh, this is dual quad core Xeons. Um, yeah, this stream's gonna use some kilowatts and it's gonna get warm in here. We've, we've got all the cores, except for that one for some reason. Um, not pegged, but you know, doing something. So anyways, we have the horsepower, let's use it. So, we have internet here. Uh, we've got a solid 5,000 bit rate, so I think we should be good. Um, man, it's been a minute since I used a streaming setup with all the buttons and everything. This webcam forgot how to, to adjust its own exposure. So I had to go in and adjust everything manually, so we're kinda, we're down to mood lighting. I've got the equivalent of about, you know, a thousand watts of light right here in front of me, and we had to tune everything just right, but we're gonna make it work and we have proper internet. So, fiber to the rescue. Um, Let's see who we've got here in chat. Oh, by the way, uh, meme printer is active. I think I forgot to, yeah, I was gonna put that on the intro screen. Boy, it's raining really hard. But meme printer's active. Um, I'm not joking around. Safe for work only. No political, no religion. We'll just keep it uh, so everyone is happy. But who we got here? Uh, we've got Guru Ace, Andy Fixus, Ray, Nigel, uh, Billy, Hannibal, Quad, White Raven. We've got Reed Chef, Mixtress, our in-house DJ. Uh, the way it is, Robin. I think Robin was the first one to say. Let's see, what did he say? He said, hi. We've got Mike C, uh, Bruce, all the usuals. So, um, today we're going to do two main things. First off, I'm sure some of you have seen it, 
but I have intentionally not watched the video yet. Mark Rober posted a video about, I don't know what brand that chair is. I just call it the screw bro but the stair climbing wheelchair. Um, it's 16 minutes long. So I think we're going to watch that and see if I have thoughts about it. It's always interesting when, um, well, legit rocket scientists that don't really have a disability frame or reference review something that they think we might like. So I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at that. And then also inside this here box, we have, ooh, ooh. I think my, no YouTube, I'm not gonna insert ads. Stop telling me to do that. Um, look at the barcodes. We got a little bit of fuzziness going on. I think this HDMI capture card might be, well, it was $13 from AliExpress and it's five years old. So anyways, we got some stuff in that box that has to do with the thumbnail. Well, actually here. I'll give you, I'll give you a little preview. Maybe it was the thumbnail, but remember how they had that recall and they still do. And they, like, and they were like, oh, the oh, foam, the foam might, might off gas inside, your, inside your, machine. your machine. Do you know why you that, know why foam, that is foam is off gassing? Because, because it's on it's fire. fire. In, my In my opinion. Um, so anyways, uh, so we're going to take a look at this old machine that I repaired. And yeah, I figured that might be a thing. So anyways, actually, let me make sure the meme printer is actually active. We have paper. I remembered that. Oh, so hang on. So. This other camera, this is the one that I bought to use for the workbench. I'm actually using a camcorder right now so I can zoom in and out. This thing actually works pretty well, except it is ridiculously picky with the USB connection that it uses. It has USB-C on the back. I try using extension cables and it's like, oh, sorry, you know, it needs to be USB-3. So I got an actual long USB-A to C extension cable plugged it in and it gave me the same error. So I unplugged it and plugged it back in and it worked for two seconds and then quit working again. So I don't know what kind of cable this thing thinks it needs. It comes with one that's only four feet long, but anyways, I don't know. I've, I've got this, uh, JVC handy cam set up over here on a tripod. So we can zoom right in and view the damage on the, um, on the old breathing machine. So let's see here. Um, what do we got going on in chat here? How's the frame rate? Is it choppy? It's a little bit on my end, but we'll make do. <laughs> All the lights in here dimmed a little bit when I spooled up the encoder. <laughs> oh man. I, I don't know what power we're pulling from the wall right now, but this thing gets pretty close to 15 amps. <laughs> this computer. Ah, looks like Billy got new batteries. Excellent. Um, did they give you stock ones or do you know what they put in your chair, Billy? Um, uh, Nigel says, uh, sticker on the side of my chair. It says second hand, but it says, I don't know what that is. EPM 2920 WRX. Yeah, I don't know. What kind of chair is it, Nigel? Uh, hey, Antifixus, uh, you need an external video capture card. Yeah, I've, so. I have a pile of them. They expire after a while. I just need to buy another handful of them. Then I think we should be good. Um, but yeah, I, so I'm using an old, actually, what is the video card in this thing? I don't even know. There's, the, I have to keep the stock Mac one in here, even though we're running windows. Otherwise I can't see the BIOS screen. Hang on. How do I, hang on. Let me just go into device manager here. We'll, uh, manage. We'll go to display capture. Got our management console here, device manager. Um, it's an older NVIDIA card. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's a GeForce GTX 670 is the one I was using for encoding on um, uh, OBS or Open Broadcaster. I think the most recent software update that I just installed, though, did something with the drivers. I might need to actually buy a proper GT GPU. Um, actually, a GTX 670. I'm curious now. Yeah, so we're going to get into this here in a minute. We're going to watch this video first. Um, I don't even know how old this thing is. Jonathan, if you're watching, it's your old video card. Uh, 670. Um, let's see here. Looking through chat. Ooh, pizza for dinner. Excellent, Billy. Eat in the shop is brought to you by today's stream. Yes, exactly. Uh, I have no one in my life to educate me on computer software. 
Oh, something with White Raven. Uh, double mics. Is there two microphones going on? Oh, is that when I had this thing on? Hang on. Uh, please hold, workbench. Is this doing two microphones? Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, let's see. Is the six? Is the uh, <laughs> good for gaming? Uh, Battlefield Three. Oh, oh, 2012. Yeah, it might be time for an upgrade. To be honest, though, I've got um, in this other machine over here that I'm running my media server on, I've got two of the old school ATI Radeon HD 7950s from back in the Bitcoin mining days. Those things are still ripping, though, somehow. Um, oh, that sucks to hear, John. Yeah, it's always unexpected when that stuff happens. <laughs> uh, what the heck did you do to your caster flutter? I fixed it. No, um, the reason that thing was so broken was uh, when the straps came loose on my chair in the trailer, it was banging around there quite a bit. Ordinarily, those things shouldn't explode like this one did. <laughs> oh, it's a 2010 Envicare Storm 4. Yeah, I don't know what that sticker is. It's probably not anything important, I wouldn't think. Um, is there echoing going on? Is it right now or other times? Maybe that other camera is capturing audio when it's on an Intel arc. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, the, the Intel, um, like the arc and then the other one, I can't think of the name of actually worked pretty good. This is just stuff I had lying around. I never buy anything brand new. It's just, what do we have lying around? Let's stuff it in a box and see if it'll stream. Uh, USB-C cable, flip it over. Yeah, I did flip it over and then it, that's when it started working. And when it stopped saying USB two, and it started saying USB 3. I don't know. The camera is picky. But whatever. We're not using it today. Oh, okay. We're using another camera. Okay. Hang on a second here. Um, let me mute this one. So this one. It's weird it's not showing up here. Hang on a second. Uh, let me... I thought I fixed this ahead of time, but hang on. Uh, how do I... Oh, unhide all. Ah, there we go. Got it. The uh, video cross or the audio crossbar was hidden. Thank you for telling me that. Um, let's see here. Da, da, da. Is it normal when you find pieces coming off your chair? If you have a quickie pulse six, probably. What's falling off your chair, Robin? Um. Okay. Let's look at a few memes here, real quick, and then we're gonna watch this Mark Rober video. Uh, <laughs> sorry for acting. Oh, I just realized. Well, I had to. I'll worry about it later, but the automatic exposure of this camera stopped working for some reason because Windows drivers. Um, so anyways, sorry for acting weird. I'm weird. It will happen again. Oh, hang on. I need to clear up a pile to put these in. Hopefully that'll work right there. And then what do we have here? Oh, it's a. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Um. Uh, let's do it like this. Uh, workbench. There we go. It's a little bit fuzzy, but uh, something about Fortnite and wheelchair dude. Um. And then I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and fix cameras. Okay. Um, the, will it? <laughs> no. Ah, why do, why do things always have to do this? It says the urge to sing the lion sleeps tonight is always a whim away, a whim away, a whim away, a whim away. Um, then we've got. <laughs> Even he can't afford what he's selling. And it's a snap-on truck parked out in front of Harbor Freight. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Oh, I still have Tourette's. Weird. Um, Yeah, I think it's probably about time to refresh this computer. Put a new solid-state drive in it, get a new video card, and reinstall Windows. It's, uh, 
weird things. Um, ooh, Robin, ramen, excellent. Uh, I had two type of caster flutter sets on your F three. Uh, was one of them like those plastic ones with the big nut on the top? Uh, because that was the most recent one they used a long time ago. They used sort of a metal thing that had two O rings in it. Um, they used those for years and years. And then switched over to the plastic ones. And they pretty quickly switched away from those because they were terrible. And switched over to the current ones. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy coffee. Okay, um... So, no spoilers, but has anyone watched this Mark Rober video that I'm talking about? <laughs> hmm, excuse me. This one here. You've never seen a wheelchair like this. The world's greatest wheelchair. This. So, I think this is the same brand of one that we watched in the video with uh, Zach from Jerry Rig Everything a while back. I think they're leaning really hard into the marketing and whatnot. Oh, the black plastic? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so those are really weird uh, with those flutter clutches, the plastic ones. They give a torque spec in the manual, but that's not how you do it. You have to jack the thing up off the ground and set them manually. And we're talking about putting the wrench on and just tapping it with your finger to get the right tension. Those ones, you need to assemble them with a little bit of O-ring oil. The new ones, though, have to be assembled completely dry. Yes, I have. It's just a toy. Watch it yesterday, says Robin. Yeah. So anyways, I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, so we're going to watch this. I'm probably going to pause it a whole bunch and say things, but uh, um, yeah. Mark Rober. <laughs> You're... This is definitely going to show up in his copyright match tool, so send me an email. There's a link in the description. I want to talk. Not only can it spin in place by balancing on just two wheels, but it can also go both up and down stairs. How is the that, volume on the video? I can turn it up if need be. Like disco balls, train oh boy, it's flashy. Spinners, and dual mounted Nerf guns. All the Wait, Nerf guns? This wheelchair came from the brain of this kid right here. It was the, 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 the. His name is Cash, and Cash is quite Seemed a bit cringe. the toughest kid I've That's kind of what I was thinking. Now, oh, well, now they're talking about small children, so we can't be mad at push it, up. right? <laughs> push off your wheel. Now push off your bed right there. There you uh, go. That's what I'm saying, boy. I could help you, but you wouldn't know that you could Oh, so this looks own. like it's kind of a story, you know almost. Um... For this kid or something. You just pull yourself back up. Here, we'll let that run for a minute. Thought it was interesting, but wonder how much day-to-day -day use it would be. Yeah, so I think this is the same wheelchair that uh, Zach from Jagger Everything was showing, and he had he stuck his wife in it, and she looked terrified going down the stairs. <laughs> um, do you know a way to fit a drink holder on? I'm just gonna mute this and let it play. Let me get to the part where he's talking about the chair. You know what to fit a drink holder on a Q6 Edge? So actually, um, Quantum has factory cup holders. I think they usually give them with most of the chairs. Um, one came with my forefront and I actually sent it to someone. But it slides, yeah. So it slides into the end of the armrest rails. Um, it'd be good for like a can or something like that. Whoa, $50. Uh, here, I'll paste the link for this in chat just so you can look at it, but I like to look for, uh, as far as wheelchair accessories go, uh, anything to do with like a motorcycle or an ATV or um, golf accessories, like, you know, golf cup holder or golf bag cup holder, and also uh, baby strollers. Uh, baby stroller cup holders will fit on things a lot of times as well. Uh-oh, Robin's doing spasms. I sent a meme after you said no politics, but yours is Canadian. I need a dedicated camera for this guy, but we've got the, uh, the dancing Canada bear. <laughs> oh, Ram. Yeah, Ram mounts makes uh, cup holders as well. Um, you want to search on Google, though, to find it. Their mobility stuff doesn't always show up on their website. So go Ram mounts wheelchair into Google and then... Well, here, I'll just give you guys a link for it. For some reason, it's hard to find on their website unless you go in through Google. Okay, let's keep playing this video here. I'm going to try and let it play if I can. 
Actually, <laughs> skip four a little bit here. What on earth? I'm now transformed into Roger from the wheelchair supply company. It's very nice to meet you. All right, here we go. Well, hello there. Hi. My name's Roger. I'm from the wheelchair supply company. Yes, Rich. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> hang on. Uh, Hello there. Hi. My name's Roger. I'm from the wheelchair. I fully expect this to happen in my life. Someone that looks like this to show up and say, "Hey, I'm from the wheelchair supply company." That's just about right, actually. I know he's memeing it, but like, come on. <laughs> oh. Your supply company. Switch. I'm doing research. How do you like this wheelchair? It's good. There's no motor on that. <laughs> Me. Okay. Roger clearly had a lot to learn from Cash, such as wheelchair. Let me know if the audio on the video is too quiet. I can turn it up. Parkment. Holy cow! How to bomb a rainmaker. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. And yes, even proper wheelchair motor size. Three and a half. Not even Stephen Curry has muscles that big. Stephen Curry. Yeah, right there. Stephen Curry. <laughs> Stephen. I have no idea what that He's sticker means, PPM. It, I don't know. PPM three. thinks oh, is like parts three. per million in my brain, about? but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> is there anything about your wheelchair you wish that it had? That I wrote about everything wrong with this video on my website. It's so absurd. Most able-bodied people will read it and don't see the issues. Stop there. Yeah, so freewheel, and that was my thought when I saw that Mark Rover posted this. Um, you know, I, I like the idea of people getting ideas out there and you know trying to solve problems and whatnot but when i see something like this to me it's like if you're on vacation or something and you happen to have this with you this is never a chair like this is never anything i would rely on in my daily life it'd be kind of a novelty like you know hey let's go jet skiing for the day hey let's go out in the stair climbing wheelchair and have some fun i would never rely on this to get to work or school or to the grocery store or something like that and it kind of feels a little bit like people are attempting, like people that don't use a wheelchair are attempting to solve what they think is a problem for people in wheelchairs. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not like hating on the idea. You know, I like the idea that people are building stuff and whatnot, but I don't know. There's always a little bit of weirdness in my mind to it. Um, Freewheeling, uh, what's, what's your website? Uh, you can't post links in chat, but just type like the, you know, the before the dot com part. Um, I'm, I'm really curious. This could have been my least expensive video ever. What if it could go upstairs? But we didn't. And it didn't take much to really open That kid the sums it up exactly right. That would be cool. <laughs> Nerf gun? Cool glowing light. Yeah, every day. Chocolate. Hey, what's your favorite color? Purple. Would you want a train horn? Yes, a clown horn. What if it was like a toot? Hmm? Like somebody passed gas? Or just stick with clown horn. Yeah. Of course, that's poor taste. And with that, Roger decided not to push his look any further. Seeing as Cash had already given us three months of work, we'd have to compress down to a 10 second build montage. And so a few months later. Okay, brief break for meme. That blue Ford has an open sunroof and it's about to rain. It's the one over in the corner. <laughs> oh. It was time. Just got word they are five minutes away. It's time to transform back into Roger the wheelchair salesman for the big reveal. And Roger was practically my alter ego now, so I didn't need any makeup artist. Oh crud. <laughs> Kinda wanted one though. Let's freaking. The family arrived at what the kids thought was Roger's wheelchair supply company. And of course it's designed to just be a boring old waiting room. It'd be great for historic sites, but seems unsafe for many people. Oh, ability toolbox. Okay, cool, freewheel, and I'll check that out here. Smile, but I can't. It was time for Roger to make an appearance. If he could just keep his face on. My mustache is falling off. But there was no time to readjust. Wait. Oh, she just found one of the cameras. I just gotta go. <laughs> Dad, there's a camera. Roger! Good to see you again. How are you? Good. What are you yeah, they are about? very slow, that's <laughs> true. See the big fish. It looks like a lizard. <laughs> it was time for Roger to come clean. I'm just gonna give you a tour of the wheelchair factory. Yeah. I also have something else to tell you. 
Okay. This isn't my real hair. Um, Freewheel, in what category on the website is that under? This isn't my real goatee. My name is actually Mark. I make YouTube videos. I saw your boxes. You seen Crunch Labs yeah. boxes? Yeah. We have even cooler stuff here than the fish. Ready to have some fun today? Let's go. And Cash wasted no time Whoa. in kicking off a self guy. Who sent O-rings? What are these? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Welcome to Crunch Labs. <laughs> yeah, flex those biceps. You remember how big they were? Probably 19 inches. Whoa, a bit of inflation. <laughs> Come in here, pal. This is the world's largest Nerf gun. This is like a pool noodle and a toilet plunger. Oh, <laughs> uh, what are you kidding? Basketball. You went right to that thing, didn't you? And the tour is going great. Ah! Okay, we'll just let this play for a little bit. Um, Robin, I don't think these O-rings came off your chair. There's, I mean, there are some O-rings deep within the gearboxes, but they wouldn't be that pristine and just fall out. So maybe you picked them up somewhere along the road or something. Move that bookshelf. One, two, three. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> oh no, this one's fine. <laughs> Hang on, let me get the other camera set up here. Whoa, what's happening? This is like a WWF intro. AKA the wheelchair of Cash's dreams. Who's driving that? A ghost? A ghost, I guess. Don't move. Donut, donut. Do you see the back what it says? Cash tab. Because that right there, <laughs> that's yours. <laughs> Want to go test it out? Yes. And with safety always coming first, it was important we started slow. You ready to go forward? Yes. Good. Mama, I was about to run you over. I know. <laughs> but before long, Cash found his confidence. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, easy. Now, in addition to the custom purple underlying... Okay, so it looks like wheel they just built an awesome chair for a kid or something. Team, I was thinking it was going to be like a review of, you know, the stair climbing chair and all that, but we'll let it go. We're halfway through here. Down our custom rack hot swap a flamethrower? <laughs> I know, right? Mode. We're flipping the toggle switch, activates a linear actuator, raising the disco ball for maximum visibility. Yes, Bob disco ball. The button really gets <laughs> the party started. The second mode is for the days when you need to navigate a crowd. Because Air horn. The green button, I would actually take that. The train. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Okay, so here's the Canadian political meme. It says, open for business. 2005 pledge to make Ontario accessible. <laughs> and the last bit of the ramp has a rope ladder. That's great. Oh, man. <laughs> <Rawr>. <laughs> Runs a toy company, yeah. Uh, we're, uh, you know where you can get joystick adapters. Uh, what kind of adapter are you talking about? Or what are you trying to do with the joystick? Yes, Costco. You are so right. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> this mode also includes a PA system. You roll up to school and you want to let everyone know you're there. Yeah. As well as a soundboard hooked up to the loudspeaker, so we could play any custom sound, which would of course include the clown horn. <laughs> but that's not all. Push that one. Oh, that's <laughs> low, bro. Sorry, that should not be on there. But then don't catch yourself sleeping on the number one. Okay, so awesome wheelchair. 3D printed purple cup holder. Let's uh, skip to the stair climbing part here. There you go. And that cup holder's really named Battle Mode. I had a demonstration for him. You ready to see it go upstairs? Yes. I've seen this done, but I wanted to wait till you were here to do it for the first time myself. And I might want to put on my seatbelt just in case. Add an air horn to a permobile. Okay. Now all I do is hit the stairs button. And when I do that, I don't know if there's enough space under the chair to put an air tank and a compressor drive, though. Into place by a linear actuator. And then you just tank tread your way up any set of stairs. Peace. You're going. And while I'll take. Okay, so hang on, let me. Uh, forward one frame. So right here. He's indoor, and he's on some stairs that have a nice, you know, angle iron edge on him. Which, angle iron is kind of slippery. But if you're, like, outside, you know, when there's moss and dirt, and maybe the edges of the stairs are a little bit crumbly, um, all that traction right there is what you're relying on. And that's kind of sketchy to me. <laughs> way up any set of stairs. Peace. You're going. Yeah, Minnesota well, winter outside, exactly. For the most ridiculous modifications of this wheelchair, including the fart speaker and some others you'll see here. Let's see if they show I'm how far off the ground. The stairs, okay, so buddy. hang on. 
Uh, let's see, skip forward a little bit. Oh, I went too far back. There we go. Okay, so take a look at everything and kind of familiarize yourself with space. And then look where his feet are. Those are a good four and a half or five feet off the ground. And even where he's sitting and how narrow that is makes the mechanical part of my brain kind of cringe a little bit. At least there's like side rails here. So if the thing got sideways, it would probably get caught and not tumble down the stairs. But, uh, oh yeah, and Robin says, how are you going to change the belt? Yeah, being a rubber belt and all, I don't know. Like, I like the idea that people are trying to build stuff, but like, again, it's kind of a novelty thing, you know? There's money! Check me out! I want to shout out the incredible engineers at Skiwo who've spent the last decade perfecting the technology required to make a stair climbing self balancing wheelchair. Buddy, I did it! You made it! They've had so many setbacks and failures and challenges <laughs> along. An M300. Yeah, I, I, I can go with that. You get the, uh, the foot plates digging in there. Wait, did they cut? Wait, did he hit the ground? Okay, I think they cut just before the dude pull vaulted out of the chair. Wait, does he have a positioning belt on? Oh, he's sliding. Yeah, they cut just before he did the Superman. <laughs> Challenges along the way, just like my yeah, buddy Yeah, no ice Cash. on the stairs, exactly. Know, but you wouldn't know that you could do it on your own. But also just like my buddy Cash, they've had the resilience to push through, uh, ultimately we'll skip succeed past the in making a ads. positive impact on the world. And to me, that's what it means to think like an engineer. I got my Nerf gun! Yeah, so the, the height adjusting thing is kind of cool fact, on it, I guess. why I named the toy company I started. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. but then you get pretty comfortable with it. And now I'm back down. Wait, what did he say? Crunchlabs.com or use the link in the video description. It's a little nerve wracking at first. I'm not going to lie, yeah. but then you get pretty comfortable with it. And now <laughs> I'm back down. Is that cool? Yeah. While I was coming back, I noticed something though. I can't be shooting the Nerf gun and driving at the same time. And that is exactly where the third and final mode comes into play. Battle mode. Where the toggle switch now communicates with the microcontroller uh, that activates see here. 250 kilogram high. Are they gonna have the kid climb the stairs? Into action, at which point the green button declares war. Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing it here anywhere. Okay, I'm bored, I'm bored. Whoa. <laughs> like nothing ever happened and easily slide into the back of a car using any kind of simple board as a ramp, but it has a... So I don't know if these little legs fold up out of the way, but that's another thing too with daily use is those stick out pretty far. The, uh, oh, that's... Tall yeah, that's Zach's wife. You to reach all those high so the seat lift function is pretty cool on that. Spots. Or finally dunk on your dad. Oh! Yeah! And so as I let him get in a little driving practice. Ahead oh, you never see the kid on the stairs? Okay, I figured not. He's hiding here. His dad let me in on a little secret. He wants to be the greatest basketball player there ever was, whether that's Paralympian or able-bodied. And while admittedly that seemed insanely ambitious to me at first, as he talked goodbye, I found myself feeling equal parts grateful I could experience his incredible attitude of resilience firsthand and hopeful he'd go easy on me with the cash cannon. I'm not even going to comment. <laughs> My favorite thing about this wheelchair is how the incredible engineers at Skiwo use the superpower of engineering to literally will something into existence that is now in Yeah, look how big it is. Maybe... <laughs> I should see if I get them to send me one of those. I don't know what I'd do with it. They'd probably want, like, a positive review about it. Um, I would probably tear it down and, you know, show how it works and, you know... Try it in a few comical situations. Try to go into one of the kitchens at Ikea or something like that. <laughs> Smash the place up on accident. <laughs> I don't know. It is now improving so many lives. And as it says on the box, my goal with Crunch Slap... Okay, well, anyways, there's that video. Um, I guess it was a story about a kid, basically, and then the chair or something. Uh, just for reference, though, let's actually... I want to pause a couple of frames on Zach's video. Um... When his wife tried it, um, let's see here. 
Uh, let's see, she transfers into it. Where is it at? Uh, I think it was when she comes down the beginning of this first part here. Are you ready to finally try some stairs? Yeah, I'm feeling comfortable. Okay, staircase right here. Conveniently located. Oh boy, this is getting choppy. So, oh wait, no, we need forward. to see her coming down. You go up the stairs, you gotta go backwards. <laughs> Hang on, Psych. let me find it. This Kivo has four lasers, two ultra- Oh yeah, here we go. I'm really focused. It's so wild. Yeah, see how far off the ground you are with that? When she starts going back down, though, there's a shot of her face that basically explains the whole thing. <laughs> or the terrain is a little bit bumpy. Like, it's difficult. Whereas this, to me, feels like it works Oh, look how far well off the ground. See her face? Yeah. She's yeah. holding it together pretty well right there, but, like... Like, like I'm strapped on a roller coaster, and we're starting to go up, and we're about to do the big drop. <laughs> How's the weather down there? <laughs> Think you could have done that in your regular chair? So now we know that it can go upstairs. But I think the sketchy part is going downstairs. Today's stream but brought to you by Live Bubbly. A uh, Lime Bubbly. Okay, here we go. Look at her face. Part. Are you sure I'm doing this right? Oh my gosh. This <laughs> She's trying really hard. Right now. This is a sponsored video. Oh! What? what? I know we watched this in the past, but like this, this, this little nub right here on the edge of that stair. Oh, uh, freewheeling says I tried an iBot and this looks even more terrifying. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I can maybe get behind the iBot a little bit more. I don't know if those do stair functionality. The whole balancing thing is weird, but then they have things like the Omeo. But the Omeo is a lot lower to the ground. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, White Raven, that was my thing. I was explaining this to someone earlier. I was like, we don't need to figure out the technology so that wheelchair users can get up and down the stairs. We need to figure out society so that it's not a problem, you know? Obviously, there's going to be old buildings and stuff, you know, that can't be changed or whatnot. But <laughs> I'm just looking at this right here, this freeze frame. Look. Uh. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be able to do it completely independently. It would be a hell of a lot cheaper and safer. Oh, the 12 volt ATV winch. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, get like a toboggan or something. wonder how many people went head over, says John. Yeah, I don't know. See, the problem with that is like, not only are you falling down the stairs, but you're falling down the stairs from, that's probably what, three and a half feet to the bottom of her seat pan. So there's more of a pull vaulting thing going on. And then if you picture this pivoting right here and going forward, that's what, like 15 feet? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the tracks do work well on the steps, but dangerous with others on the stairs. Yeah, that was the other thing too. If you're using this thing on stairs, there's gonna be a crowd of people around you. And that gets sketchy in a hurry when there's a bunch of people around, especially kids and whatnot. You're 100% right there, Greg. Wonder if he had to sign anything. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, ice. Uh, busted the footrest actuator. <laughs> yeah, probably on that M300. Um, I'd rather slide down with my chair than being thrown like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Billy Garcia, you're 100% right. Too many variables. That's the best way to sum it up. Again, these little rubber things. We chose like the tallest stairs to try this on. How are you doing up there? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Crazy how quiet it is. <laughs> and Zach's all like, oh, listen how quiet it is. She's like, don't care. We have chains inside, tracks, <laughs> actuators. <laughs> That's boring. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, anyways. That's the response right there to stair climbing wheelchairs. Oh man. Good times. Let's see here. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to close that tab so we save a little bit of the system resources. Hang on, let me check in here and see what our temperatures are doing on this thing. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Actually, where's resource monitor? We'll do a little little check in here. Uh, display capture. So processors are still running up there pretty good. Actually, our temperatures are really good. Like, yeah, there's almost nothing's over 30 degrees Celsius. Nice. All right, cool. That'll work. <laughs> um, oh, Mark Rober stair climbing wheelchair is for those who have the cash. Hang on here. Uh, who was it in chat? Someone said uh, it was, hang on here. Oh, freewheeling. Excuse me. Uh, just looking through this here real quick. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Oh, I guess we have a browser window. We can open this in here. There we go. Hmm. Then we got a bunch more memes here coming in. Then we're going to get to the breathing machine. Uh, let's see here. How much are those things, actually? Uh, what brand is it? Bro wheelchair. I think bro is in the name or something. Yeah. Uh, S-C-E-W-O. Price. Uh, I don't even know if they say. Maybe, uh, eh, decline? Whoa, uh, how do we, information, contact, flyer. Oh, maybe you're, maybe the article you read says something about it. Oh, 50K. Oh, geez. That's interesting. So, I... <laughs> It's funny I saw this video and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. And then here's someone wrote a whole article about it. Um, let's see, an NASA engineer comments, expect from the general public when it comes to this sort of cash is so inspirational. What a cool wheelchair, yes. Um, wasn't it? I probably, there's an episode of South Park where they talked about curing this one disease and all you had to do was put about $200,000 of cash in a blender and shoot it into your bloodstream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um real palsy hands later. Yeah, I might read through this later. Uh here's the link to that though. Um I haven't read through it or whatever, but like if anyone wants to read that, there you go. <laughs> yeah, good times. Why am I sitting all crooked? Okay, there we go. Um We got a pile of memes here. I'm going to attempt to put this camera back into its default modes so that we can view the memes easily. Yeah, for some reason, the brightness and contrast options are just... Eh, anyways, um, so we've got... <laughs> yes. Flippard the big red dog. Let me hang on here. Camera control. We'll just turn the exposure down. There we go. New book. <laughs> Clifford the big red dog gets the zombies... <laughs> Killing 17 and injuring 159. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what else we got here? Um. Oh. Yeah, who the F can get a single letter? So I was actually looking through my phone the other day, and who was... Uh, I sent it to someone. There was a license plate here in Oregon. I think it was just like a W or something like that. Um, I didn't know they allowed that, but yeah. Kind of funny. Um, what else we got here? Oh, we have Mixtress with, um, is that the pile of tires from the, from the Abilities Expo over there? And, uh, I think there was one more over here. Oh, wait, no, we already got them all. Okay, I thought there was more memes than that. Uh, let me put this back. There we go. I think we're back to proper exposure levels now. All right. <clears throat> okay, let me get the wireless mic on here, and let's get set up and take a look at this breathing machine over here. 
I'm trying to remember when I originally took it apart. It was in 2019. And um, I don't remember if there was any foam inside of it. But inside this box, we have basically uh, two complete machines that I melded together to make a functional one. But uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that here. I think that's why elevators were invented. <laughs> yeah, Billy, that's right. Um, she's like, can you shut up? I know. I love how she's like freaking out and he's like, oh, the chair's quiet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, let's see here. Putting a lot of faith in some really vulnerable bits of those stairs. Yeah, that edge. How many times have you seen the edge of concrete stairs that are chipped, you know? Uh, if two wheel balancing things are so great, then why did the Segway scooters vanish? Yeah, Segway was kind of a different thing. Um, but we do have, I think we talked about it last week a little bit. There's the, um, the Omeo. Omeo wheelchair. I actually wouldn't mind one of these. Once again, they're not super cheap. But it's basically a Segway at its heart that has, uh, well, I was going to say rehab seating. Oh, that's right. Now I remember they didn't show any pictures of it. We have to go to Google and do an image search because their website is so bad. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait, this links back to their website. Is it? Okay, we have some little tiny pictures here. Can I zoom in? Is it? There we go. Uh, zoom out. Ah, no, go back. Anyways, it's basically a segue at heart and they put a seat on it. I know someone that's actually a complete, uh, I forget what level he is, but he has no core at all. And he's able to use one of these. Because I thought, you know, if you can't lean back, because um, you kind of lean forward and back to drive. Um, but the handles on the side of it is what he holds on to to kind of hold himself upright. And then it seems to work okay for him, though. Uh, I think there was a picture here of someone doing that. Yeah, so you, I don't think this guy's a wheelchair user, but you, uh, you hold on to it like that, and then you can kind of pivot your seat. The whole seat is kind of mounted on springs. As far as turning left and right, though, he turned off that function on his chair, and there's a little joystick on the side of it right here that you can see, and you can steer with that, and it's within range of one of the, um, the hand grips, so you can kind of grip the thing and then use your thumb, well, assuming your thumbs work, uh, to uh, steer the thing. But yeah, kind of interesting. Um, free tires. I watched the other part a uh, video a year ago and it said it was 40 freewheeling. Uh, Segways are sold, only sold. Yeah, if you guys remember the build up to that, when Segway, before it launched, the guy that was in charge of it or whatever was an interesting dude but it was <laughs> they were doing all these like hints and stuff and not showing what it is we're like we're gonna revolutionize um you know human transportation and then something about it looking like a pogo stick <laughs> um on a hardware level though the segways are actually really cool they were expensive but a lot of that was definitely in the hardware every single thing in the original segways was redundant including the windings in the motors. So basically any part on the thing could fail and it would keep operating, which was kind of cool. But would you be able to go off-road with that one? Are oh, you talking about the Omeo? Um, here, let's, uh, I'm sure there's some YouTube videos. Actually, Omeo has a channel and they post nine second videos constantly. They don't really show anything. Let's do Omeo off-road. Uh, let's see here. This looks like an independent thing, maybe. Probably has copyrighted music. Self-balancing. Yeah, so there's someone that's using it by leaning. Um, and in here... You can see he's got his finger on the joystick to turn the thing. So I don't know. It would depend on the terrain. I'd be a little bit worried about... I mean, the Segways do really good with obstacles and stuff. The knockoff ones do not. They will just slam you on the ground. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's not a whole lot of ground clearance. 
Um, sand. He's got pretty big tires on there. Uh, yeah, I. as far as you would define off-roading, uh, Robin, probably not. <laughs> like mud and stuff, I don't think would be a good idea. What on earth? Um, okay, well, anyways, that's enough internet for today. Um, let's switch over to <coughs> the um, other thing here. Let me turn on my microphone. Wireless microphone. Okay, we got the wireless mic on. Um, let's switch to the workbench camera, which is zoomed in all the way at the moment, so let me fix that. Uh, let me turn this off so it's not blocking our view. Let's see here. We'll zoom out here a little bit. Oh, come on, camera. Don't be doing this to me. You can focus. Focus. It's getting confused. Come on. What? What? Hang on. Let me power. How do I power cycle this camera? Uh, hang on. Let me power cycle this real quick. Do, 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 do. And then turn back on, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. All right. So, um, let's see, I can still see chat over there. So this is kind of the basic thing that happened with this. I uh, noticed this burning smell coming into my breathing mask and I don't know why this needed a connector, maybe for ease of assembly, but basically the two pins that handled some of the power got a little bit too hot. And I can tell they got hot because look at the plastic. It started melting and bubbling. Um, and you can see here, like some splatter. This is solder. Can you, uh, hang on, let me zoom in. Yeah, see this here? Oh, hang on, I've got the jiggly camera going on. Stop wobbling. Wait for it. Yeah, we've got bits of solder here that were like splashing off and everything. Um, so the manufacturer of this machine was like, oh yeah, there's some foam that can, you know, randomly off gas or something. And it like clouded up the screen and everything. Uh, so yeah, there you can see a little better how the wiring is all screwy. Um, I wound up, I did a video about it. I don't think I showed a whole lot, but even the wires, I mean, everything was just getting really hot. Uh, what I wound up doing was it was using these little slip-on connectors. So I wound up soldering them in place and then heat shrinking over the top of them. I don't know if I have a picture of the final product. Yeah, that was pretty close to done. And you can see there even the plastic on the side of this was melting and stuff. So I at least got this one going. But anyways, we've got it here in this box. Um, let's see here. Just looking at chat real quick. The original Segways used the same gyros from the fighter jets of the time. Yeah, they spared no expense building the original Segway. That's 100% true. Would never need to get up a flight that badly. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Michael, how are we doing? Uh, what machine is that? So this is a Philips System 1. Apparently, I stuck eyeballs on it. Um, I cleaned it up and sanded it pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this thing went on fire. Then I didn't have a machine. And this is actually a, a CPAP unit. This was back when I didn't realize that my... Actually, hang on here. Let me take some stuff out of this box. I think there's some mail in here or something. Um, this was back when I didn't realize that my breathing problems had changed. And um, that I needed an actual bi-level ventilator. Um, but yeah, so I got it kind of fixed and put it back together. Hang on, I'm just setting some stuff down over here. And I got it kind of fixed and put back together, but then the air path in this thing was pretty heavily contaminated. And then, uh, someone that watches the YouTube channel actually, come on, focus, focus, focus. Hang on, we're gonna go into manual focus mode here. Hang on a second, it's gonna jiggle a little bit. Uh, so let's see, menu, whoops, exit, wrong button. We want manual, and then 
Uh, uh, how do we do this? Oh wait, can I tap to focus? No. Uh, hang on, maybe it is under the menu. No, setup, exit. Here, I thought this thing was gonna make things easier for me. Apparently not, manual. And then, how did I get it into, oh, there we go. No, oh, whatever. We're just gonna put it back in intelligent auto mode and the white balance will be all over the place, but at least it should focus. Okay, and then, oh, why is this thing being so dumb? Eh. Remove the box, maybe? Maybe because there's light reflecting into it. Okay, hang on. One more power cycle. Embrace the chaos. That's why I always say this, because nothing ever goes as to plan. Let's see if it'll turn back on now. There we go. Loading. And... Oh, there we go. Oh, I remember now, when you're zoomed out all the way on this camera, it gets a little cranky. So, anyways, uh, what I was saying was a YouTube viewer had an old machine that he didn't need anymore, so he was able to send it to me, and I took out some of the parts uh, and swapped out the air path inside because this one was contaminated from all the smoke and everything. So I swapped out the blower and some of the other bits. Oh, I forgot these used to have this Bluetooth connection module. Forgot about that. Um... Have you made any progress on the screen protectors for the M5? No. I have to finish all the moving and everything before I can before I can resume that project, unfortunately. But oh, I guess the there's another machine that I wound up putting together. But this is all the this is the parts from this one uh, that were contaminated from the air path. And you can see a lot of the pieces are like yellowing and we're kind of nasty from all the smoke and everything but let's throw this down on the floor and by the floor i mean over here and we'll take a look at this thing a little closer yeah i uh they claimed there was uh let me zoom in here oh, there we go focused they claimed there was some foam but i don't recall seeing any foam anywhere in this thing but yeah, that was basically my repair here. I, uh, they had these slip on connectors and I basically took these off and then soldered them in place. Uh, jiggling, stop jiggling. There we go. Soldered them in place and cut back some of the wires. Uh, you can see I extended this harness here just a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it was, just kind of a bad design. They had a connector right here and there was just too much amperage going through it. So those two wires, let's see, they're the red and black one. And actually, even if you look at the color of these wires, it's not coming through on the camera, but these are starting to darken like all the way down the length of the wire. Okay, so that plugs in, hang on, let me grab the rest of the box. That might've been the power to the humidifier or maybe the heated tube or something like that. Oh yeah, so that connector, I believe, plugged in to here. Yeah, so that that power that was the power feed for the heated humidifier, and also for the heated hose. So pretty good amount of power going through that. And honestly, like the heated hose wire was bigger gauge than this stuff. I'm sure it was like insulated, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a bad design. I thought I, I guess I'm missing some of the parts of the other machine from this thing, but um, yeah, it was kind of a bad deal. And there's a little pressure sensor right there. Actually, there's three of them. A little beeper. Um, yeah, anyways, that was good times. Uh, yeah, I, th I thought I, I thought both machines were in here and I was going to be able to 
take apart the other one and show some stuff, but apparently I'm missing half the stuff that I had. So let's laugh at the googly eyes on this and <laughs> maybe move on. <laughs> but the way these things work basically was you have this, uh, I think I screwed it back together, but the blower goes inside here. Um, and it's mounted, there's these three pins here, and it's mounted on these sort of, well, here, I think I could stick it on this way. Ah, it's backwards, but it was sort of a shock mount that goes on there. But anyways, yeah, there's some more pieces down in there. So right now, apparently, with the recall they have going on, I could potentially send this machine back in for $150 credit or something like that. But the class action lawsuit paperwork was kind of confusing. And I figured I would rather keep this machine. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. I figured I'd rather keep this machine just as kind of something to look at and kind of show and tell as opposed to sending it back and getting money. But I don't know. All right, let's see what's going on in chat here. Uh, oh, we got more memes too. Um, hey Rob, welcome in. Uh, switch back to this microphone. I've been using ResMed. I've had a S8, S9, and now an S10. Yeah, uh, supposedly the ResMed stuff uh, was not affected. Uh, that's the brand I'm using now too. This is a Philips System one. But after this thing went down and I went a couple nights without it, that's when things started getting really bad and then I couldn't talk for a while and I got pretty sick and it turned into this whole thing and that's, it took several months for them to schedule a sleep study, but I cobbled a machine together that kind of worked. Uh, but yeah, things were not, not good for a few months until I got a replacement machine, but yeah, breathing's kind of important apparently. <laughs> and apparently when I was using, cause this was just a CPAP, um, it was maintaining things just barely enough, but as soon as there was a hiccup, everything started going downhill in a hurry. Oh, and that was about the same time that the doctor's office I was at at the time decided that they just weren't going to refill the prescription of this one steroid inhaler that I have. And yeah, that turned into a whole thing. I went into the ER and saw some specialists and whatnot. And it's one of those inhalers that you can't stop taking. And one of the warnings on it or side effect is like sudden unexpected death. Um, but I finally went in and saw the specialist and she was like, there's literally nothing we can do. You have to have that inhaler. And you've been off of it long enough now. It's going to take about a week and a half before it starts working again. Um, so I got some money, went to a pharmacy and convinced an actual pharmacist to just sell me one. I had the prescription. Um, he wound up just giving it to me, which was nice. Uh, so I was able to get back on it, but finally, like a week later, the person from the doctor's office calls, oh yeah, it sounds like you need a prescription refilled. I'm like, yes. I'm like, we've been trying to get a hold of you for like three weeks, like several ER doctors, a couple of my other doctors I've emailed, I've left messages, I've called and she's like, oh, sorry. I just, I didn't, I didn't know anything about that. Anyways, I wound up going to a different doctor after that because, yeah, that was no fun. Um, let's see here. Uh, anyone use the ResMed Air Mini? Uh, let's take a look at that. Go back over here. Where's my beverage? There it is. Yeah, so this is just a basic CPAP, it looks like. Oh, I think I've seen one of these before. They don't have a, a humidifier built in. Oh, hang on a second. Nose noises. Um, they don't have a humidifier built in, but they claim to have some sort of like moisture exchange thing or something. So this looks cool and all, but remember, this has to have a power adapter plugged into it. There's no way a battery would fit in there. Well, actually here, let's, uh, what's included? Uh, disposal filter, 20 watt power supply. Okay, core features. Smallest CPAP on the market today. Oh yeah, effective waterless humidification. So I think that's that weird um, moisture transfer thing, or I don't know how they do that. 
Um, I mean, I guess it would be small for traveling, maybe. Um, but yeah, just for CPAP use, if as long as you don't have, you know, pretty high pressures, I would assume this would probably work. But actually, here, let's, uh, oops, near reviews. Uh, my question with Omeo is how does it go up a big step or curb? Because I can see. Yeah, so I think on the Omeo, unless you have the big air-filled tires on it that can absorb some shock, I don't think you're going to go up curbs with that. Um, but if it's smaller and you've got air-filled tires, they can kind of absorb some of that transition. I think is the only way you'd be able to do that. Um, let's see here. 3B Luna 3G. What is that uh, the way it is? Uh, Sleep Foundation. Oh, here we go. Here's a Reddit one. Um, big backpacker camper. Blah blah blah. Air sense. Okay. Uh, these one exclusively. I chose it because I was too anxious about traveling a motorcycle. Blah blah blah. Does what it needs. Local climate's humid, so I don't notice a lack of proper humidification unless I have a cold. Uh, it's a bit louder. Oh, it does have an available battery pack. Oh, not available. He's using like a specific sort of battery bank. Uh, yeah, it's have an app. Uh, good, but it's loud. Uh, and compare it to something else. Uh, another one. This person doesn't find it loud at all. Uh, wife doesn't think it's noisy. That's who you ask is the wife. <laughs> Yeah, and see, these people don't use humidifiers. That's the only thing I would worry about is not having humidification. But that's just me. Like, I have to get up sometimes in the middle of the night and refill the tank on my machine because it's so small. The water tank on it. And, and well, let's see here. Regional truck driver. Uh, DC and the sleeper. No issue, seems to perform. Though, it seems like maybe the humidification's not super awesome, and maybe it's loud, but then other people are saying not to both of those, so I don't know. Your mileage may vary. The only problem is if you're getting it through insurance or something, um, once you have it, it's yours and there's no going back. So, yeah. Size makes it worth it. Yeah, it's louder. More like a whooshing sound. Uh... Let's see here. How much are those things, anyways? Uh... Oh, I can't click back. Hang on here. And the auto set. And then we'll do shopping. Me seven hundred to a thousand dollars, I guess. 1500 a lot of these are all over the place looks like the mean price is about 800 bucks or something like that hmm interesting uh that's the end for that one oh wait we have this other review thing here oh this is just someone shilling it i think yeah Oh, wait, is it on Amazon? Yes, let's look at Amazon reviews. Hang on, is there an Amazon link here? Uh, here, we'll just copy. I swear I know how to internet. Uh, do they have a BiPAP version? I would assume not. BiPAPs are quite a bit more complex. Actually, here, let's... Uh... <laughs> There's a system one, sort of, but not. Uh, travel. Okay, CPAP. Oh, here we go. Reddit once again. And oh, CPAP.com has examples. Wait, was that BiPAP? Most humidifier. Oh no, they're talking about the Air Mini. That's different. I think mine needs to be a BiPAP. Okay. Uh, so they said. CPAP.com. Uh, 
Uh, uh, oh, CPAP.com is not BiPAP.com. So, yeah. Um, travel slash mini. Looks like this is just a half a system one minus the minus the humidifier tank. Yeah, so I don't think those are going to exist. Um, actually, maybe they don't sell these on Amazon because it's a prescription item, right? Yeah. Uh, I was out yesterday and used my... What is that? My shoulders are killing you. Your hand... What what do you what is that, Robin? Like a hand cycle or something? Uh, hey Boats, how we doing? This one S10 runs on 24 volt. Has a nice cigarette adapter for forty dollars. Nice. Apparently, you can get adapters for mini, so you can connect to normal masks. Yeah, I think I saw something about that in the Reddit reviews. Uh, here's another thread. Pros and cons. Yeah, let's close some of these tabs here. Two very different machines. Air Mini is not a great device, more compact. But I don't recommend it. Uh, oh, uses a disc meant to capture, recapture your own humidity. Far less comfortable than real water and the noise. Oh, so the disc makes the noise. Ah, the noise ratings they take are without the disc. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so it sounds like they're loud in humidification. Those are the two main things that people like or don't like or something like that, I guess. Um, apparently you get after a mess, yes. Um, oh, we got more memes. Uh, I mean, uh, hang on. Uh, let me turn off this other camera. I mean, I don't know if I'd say accessibility fail. They made it work, I guess. Just hope it's not raining because those steel plates are going to be El Slippo. <laughs> um, yeah, that person's using like a four-wheel drive chair too. Oh, here we go. Uh, let me fold this over here so we don't dox this person's email address. I assume this was like some sort of AI something or other. <laughs> then we've got the fail. <laughs> I think that's all the memes we have for the moment. Okay. Um, so hang on here. I want to try something. While we're streaming, I want to run a speed test and see what kind of leftover bandwidth we have here. Okay, I'm on the Wi-Fi uh, speed test. There we go. Let's see if I can, you are connected to the internet. Okay, thank you. I'm just running it with the Wi-Fi on the mini here. So ping of four milliseconds. Ooh, so we're, I mean, we're not doing too much download, but we got 450 megabit download. Oh, and we've still got over 400 megabits upload. 426 upload left over, so yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Uploading videos is so much faster with fast internet. I mean, obviously that makes sense. The Mercedes chair is real. Really? Hang on. Uh, Chrome. Oh wait, I forgot to, oh, never mind. Uh... Uh, these are all vans, hang on. here uh mercedes visionary concept of a wheelchair uh that looks like yeah i don't know interesting yeah, there's gotta be some more stuff here Hmm. 
Or maybe you have to type electric. Oh, we're getting his vans. Hang on. Uh, minus van. There we go. So we've got, let's see here. Uh, some older stuff. Oh, I know it's been two years already, but there may be some movement on the bounder front. I'll find out in two weeks. That's all I'm going to say. But they asked me what my preferred seat size is and some other dimensions. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, that's Facebook. Uh, can't open Facebook links on this computer. Oh, interesting. Anywho. Yeah, we're getting buried in paperwork here. Boy, the rain is really coming down out there. <laughs> Just gonna... Yeah. Uh, bench. I'll let you all read that one for yourselves. <laughs> uh, and here, shuffling papers, going to drink a beverage. Mm, bubbly. Um, let's see here. The ASIN. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. For the S10 power brick. Let me pull this up here on the Amazon real quick. Ah, so this is the um, power brick for the, that's, this is the car adapter for that Air Mini we were looking at. Um, yeah. I guess if anyone has that, here's a link for that thing. Wait, what do people review? I always find reviews interesting, especially on stuff like power adapters. Oops, no. Oh, wait, back. back. Uh, purchase due to power outage, something, something. I would love to see a premium model of this device containing an input jack on the brick where the OEM AC adapter can be plugged in. Oh, like auto switching. Uh, that's why they make, hang on. By the way, if you use a BiPAP or anything that's like critical to where you're gonna have major problems if it stops working overnight, UPS, get yourself one of these bad boys right here. Um, these, APC, they have voltage regulators built in, 170 bucks, designed for a computer or whatever, but one of these big ones right here, the 1500 VA ones, really nice insurance. Also, if for some reason you need to be woken up when the power goes out, it'll squeal at you, but you can turn off the, um, you can turn off the beeping noises that it makes. Uh, hang on, let me fix this link here. We'll just delete all of that. Uh-oh. I hit the flunk button. Wow, tracking link. Still scrolling. Okay, there we go. Copy. Yeah, something similar to this um, is handy to have. It's, they're a nice unit anyways. Uh, I've run a couple of these over the years, but yeah, handy thing to have. Breathing machines or computer equipment. They've got a cable where you can set it up to automatically shut down your computers and stuff like that too, but um, yeah. Where's that? Ah, Tourette's is annoying. Have I ever mentioned that? <laughs> uh, do you have a deadline for moving out of the warehouse? Well, I don't think it's going to happen before I have to pay the lease this next month because that's in how many days? Less than three. Um, there is a... Oh, that reminds me. I, was, I emailed this guy that was supposed to come check out the space, but he hasn't emailed me back. Oh, I wonder if my email went into a spam folder. One of my main email accounts, for some reason, it gets delivered to spam for some reason. Maybe I should actually call him. Um, hang on here. Uh, but yeah, there's a person that potentially, well, there's three different people as of right now that are would 
potentially assume my lease. And they will buy me out of my deposit and just take over the remaining lease. That facility has a really huge waiting list. Um, so I think that's going to be the way to do it. Because they wanted to charge me a three-month penalty uh, to leave. And I wouldn't be able to use that three months. It would be an additional three months I'd have to pay after I vacate. So having someone assume the lease and having them pay me my deposit, that seems like the way to go. But uh, it'll definitely be by the end of this next month, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, very fast speed. You'll be able to upload videos left and right. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's look at their chat here. I thought the Mercedes chair was a self-balancing chair. Yeah, it kind of looked like it in the photo, but, um, it's got caster wheels in the front. Oh, hey, Stormtrooper. How's it going? Did I say hello a minute ago? <laughs> Uh, what snacks do you have today, Stormtrooper? Asks White Raven. Oh, uh, so tomorrow... Actually, hang on a second. I'm gonna grab it from the van. Um, I, uh, I have the water pump for the bus. I don't even... I don't think this table will support it, but I'm gonna grab it real quick. And, um... Uh, yeah, hang on a second. Okay, so here we have a much large box. Um, yeah, let me see if this overhead camera is going to do anything for us here. Uh, you heard of a Tetra mouse? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, unfortunately, Stormtrooper, it's a commercial email account that I don't have control over the settings on. So, yeah, it's kind of dumb. Maybe the new guy would prorate part of a month's rent. Yeah, actually, Mike C, I was just thinking about that if I move out halfway through the month. But, yeah. That's a potential option. Okay, uh, let's see if this camera can do anything. Yeah, this might work. Let me turn on the wireless mic. Wireless mic microphone. Okay, so here I have this giant box on my lap, right? Special hose clamps. How's that for a water pump? Um, I always compare things to the size of my head. Um, it doesn't look as big as it actually is, but it's gear driven and uh, I can barely lift it. Um, but yeah, so we have a new one. And it, how much was this thing? I think it was like 300 bucks. Um, it's funny because this one is brand new and they had a remanufactured version that was like $450. Um, and this one was quite a bit cheaper. So I had them pull both of them off the shelf. And uh, my thought was, you know, a lot of times brand new parts are garbage. Well, when things get to this size, it's usually a safer bet maybe that they might last a little bit longer because the components are so large. Uh, where am I going to put this now? Um, but I took a look at the remanufactured one and the big plate, hang on, I'm trying to, place to set this down. The uh, big plate that was on the back of it that seals up all the inner workings was made out of like galvanized stamped steel. Oh. But this one um, had an actual, um, what am I trying to say? Stainless steel thing. And the components looked a lot better on it. So anyways. Hopefully brand new parts will work. Um, yeah, tomorrow morning 
uh, friends coming over and we're going to start working on that. Oh, that was a heavy thing. A big casting. Uh, what gear drives it? Um, so on the 60 series, <laughs> let's see here. Was I, my mic was off that whole time, wasn't it? The battery died on the wireless mic. Um, no hablo sin silencio. <laughs> um, anyways, I was talking. Um, yeah, so here's the engine. You can see it's not small. This is the water pump right here. Uh, this is transverse mounted. So the back bumper of the bus is like right over here. And then the front of the bus is over this way. Um, so we've just got a couple of connection points here with, uh, Sorry, but silicone couplers. Um, but the whole front of this engine is a big gear case. Um, okay, that was unexpected. Um, <laughs> the whole front of the engine has a big gear case that drives the camshaft and everything else. I guess that picture doesn't really show it. Um, uh, love how I just had the microphone muted for all that time. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, where's that one picture I showed? Uh, uh, oh yeah, this one you can see it on. Right here, this whole casing in the front um, has a bunch of gears in it that drives the camshafts and a bunch of stuff like that. So yeah, no, the computer wants me to eat McDonald's. Um, but yeah, there's just a couple of these are these are metal hoses here. Um, and they just use silicone couplers. So basically we have three or four bolts that holds it onto the engine. And this is an updated one. This is the style that was on here. What wound up happening on mine, uh, hang on here, I have photos. The uh, 
back cover on it is held in with a surclip. And seeing as how it's basically the lowest point on the engine behind the drive wheels, it gets all the road spray and everything. So it rusted, and the rust forced the circlip out a little ways. Hang on, I gotta do a little bit of scrolling to get to this. Uh, scrolly, scrolly, scroll. Da -da -da -da. Had this loaded up on here, and then I hit the flunk button and erased the uh, point I was at on this app. Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. So looking at the looking at the back of the bus, this is the back bumper. The water pump is basically right here and you have to open that side door to get to it um so it's not hard to get to but um hang on, i have another photo here of it it's just not something i can do easily whoops yeah i took pictures like two days ago where'd they go oh here we go Yeah, so looking in from the um, the side door on the back of the bus, you can kind of see it's like right there. But what happened was all of the rust and everything, you can't really see it in the picture, but there's a circlip that popped out and it started leaking right there at the bottom. So it's a big heavy thing. It's not hard to install and you don't have to worry about gear timing or anything like that. Um, but yeah, there you can kind of see it there, how it's fairly rusty. <laughs> But yeah, friends should be able to help with that. I don't think it'll take us more than a couple hours, in theory, <laughs> to change it out. Um, like I could do it myself, but the problem is, well, actually, I'd have to have my arms at full extension. So I'd have to pull the back bumper off the bus and then pull that back corner where the big air box is. The air box is the size of one of those 30 gallon or 20 gallon metal drums. I think if I pulled that out of there and pulled the bumper off, I could probably get in there, but um, yeah. Oh wait, I think I have a a subliminal do, 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 do. look fish fillet might have to get one of those on the way back um let's see here pop this back open yeah i didn't have this open so i didn't see messages from anyone come on why are you no click there we go no audio your mic is off okay <laughs> oh yeah i caught that um let's see here yeah i i I don't leave the chat near the bottom. Well, so I've got three, well, two effectively things where I can see chat here. And I keep forgetting there's a current one here that I can look at. I need to scan between the two of them. <laughs> um, let's see here. Fish fillet time. Now I want to fillet a fish that's freewheeling. Yep. At least you have access to the motor. Yeah. So here's the problem. How much coolant do I need? So that's the lowest point on the cooling system in the entire bus. Luckily, it is parked slightly downhill. So I think the heating system in the front, which, by the way, uses lines that are this big. They're like two and a half inch lines for the heating system. I think because those are downhill, we might have been able to keep 10 gallons of the coolant in there or something. Or maybe not that much, but <laughs> the manual, the service manual says the system holds 32 gallons. And the final charge diesel coolant that you need to use is about 18 to $20 a gallon. It is concentrate, so you get two gallons out of each of that. But, uh, wait. What's, fif What's 15 times 20? It's 300. 300? Oh, so that's less than I thought. But yeah, it's more in coolant than the pipe price of the water pump. Or basically the same price. Um, so, yeah, that's a problem. It drained the entire system. And the radiator is six feet off the ground. There's a pump system. So there's a surge tank down that I can reach that's about knee height. You dump the coolant in there, then you run a pump, and it purges it up to the top. Pumps it way up. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get the pump changed, and I'm going to put... I've got... I can mix up six gallons right now, and I think that'll be enough to test it and make sure it is a leak.
not leaking or whatever. And then I'll worry about over the next month or so buying the rest of the coolant I need to fill that system up the rest of the way. But yeah. All right. See you later, Greg. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, does it need that air cooling? Wait, does it need that make a shield cover? Uh, not sure what you mean, Stormtrooper. Mm, ice cream. Uh, was that your phone or your tablet? <laughs> I know, right? So. Which one is which? They're about the same size. <laughs> um, so while my fan hand function is good, I don't like complaining about it. Um, I've started using this as my phone, basically. Um, it's cellular connected. I can palm it with one hand. My thumbs work really well, so typing on this is good. But yeah, I've started carrying around an iPad mini as my kind of daily use device. Uh, and uh, it's been working out pretty well. Um, can you use the old shop vac trick? Um, shop vac. Which trick is that, uh, Orion? I'm not sure. Shop vac or air compressor? Why not pump the drain coolant into plastic, drive them back into the engine? Uh, because it all leaked out. I didn't know there was an issue until I went to start at the bus because I fired up every week and run it for a while and run through the gears and everything. And uh, I went to start it up three months ago and it shut right, it shut back. The engine shut down 30 seconds after I started it. And I was like, well, that's weird. So I hit the button again, fired up, immediately shuts down again in 30 seconds. And I was thinking, oh great, I've got some sort of computer problem or something. And uh, turns out the computer was doing what it was supposed to. The next day I was thinking, I haven't checked the coolant on this for a while. So I open the back and I can shine a flashlight way up at the sight glass. And that's like 11 feet off the ground. And I noticed there was nothing in there. And then I went around and hit the button to pump from the surge tank because it's a pressurized surge tank that has a pump. Um, I hit the button on that to pump coolant in there and the surge tank was empty. Turns out the way the system works is there's several level detectors. And if there's a leak, it will automatically, while the engine is running, top off the cooling system. But all the coolant had leaked out and I didn't realize that. Um, so I wound up putting, I went out and bought like three gallons of the stuff. It was like $45 worth of coolant or however that works out. Mix it up, dumped it in there, fired it up, and that water pump was just spewing. So I was like, oh, well, I just poured another $45 on the ground. But yeah, the rest of it is on the ground too. So can't recapture it, unfortunately. Um, you hold it up to your face. <laughs> Hello? It's funny because Dell made this tablet a few years back, well, a long time ago, called the Dell Streak, and it was a phone. And, uh, let's see, images. Yeah, so it was an Android tablet that you could hold up to your face and actually call people on, and I thought that was kind of hilarious. But phones have gotten pretty big these days, and like this picture right here, is not really that far off from most of the giant phones that exist now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So hopefully we can get that taken care of tomorrow and it won't be too big of a deal. Even if there's some parts missing or we can't get the couplers or they get destroyed or something, at least having him bolt that thing on there, that's the main part. I can deal with the rest of it later. <laughs> <coughs> hey Emma, how's it going? Uh, oh, to keep the coal from draining. Yeah, the system's already empty, unfortunately. <laughs> um let's see here remember the newton yeah so i i have or had one it had the little it was a newton pda it had the little fold up thing on it you plug a phone line into so you can um uh yeah i'm seeing all the messages now that my, about the mic being muted uh, i had the thing so you can plug a phone line into it i haven't seen it in a long time it might have been in the great mini storage auction. It probably was, but yeah, some of that stuff is worth money these days, which by the way, for no reason, I was looking up um, Macintosh Plus computers on Fleabay the other night. Um, the retro market is kind of out of control. Let's just do Mac Classic. Mac Classic. Uh, oh, that was 90 bucks. 
Yeah, so the Color Classic 2 is what I had in high school. That was in dollars. Pretty sure I got mine for 900 bucks when it was brand new when I was in high school. Uh, $650. 125 for a broken one. $350. Um, hmm. These prices seem more reasonable. Hang on. Mac Plus. Yeah, it's like $800. Okay, so I don't know what it was. The other night I was looking, there was nothing under $500. Bucks. Um, actually, this... Oh, that's an auction, though. Hang on. Let's do buy it now. I keep forgetting eBay's an auction site. The Energizer phone? Yes. Uh, ah, yes. Rain. Okay, so I guess there's some that aren't too crazy. Oh, there we go. Like 600, 500, 300... Yeah, stuff's gotten kind of kind of crazy. Plus, I don't know if this stuff will survive shipping. I don't know how you could ship one of these and not have it damaged, you know? Um, cuz FedEx and stuff. We have more memes. If you think I'm crazy now, just wait until you piss me off. <laughs> yes. Uh <laughs> Warning. I always win at musical chairs. <laughs> Hang on, let me switch to the other thing here. I have to zoom out a little bit. Camera focus. I don't know what it is with the focusing on this camera. Back there. I have to speak up on it. Okay, well, I'll just read. So, it says when your ex, when your ex tells you, the only stuff you're taking with you is what you can fit on your truck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But someone's sending stuff from T-Mobile. It spits out these pages that have a T-Mobile logo in the corner. I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh, there is no... Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, uh, what am I trying to say? Words. I had something incredibly relevant to say, but I forget what it was. Anyways, um, so, is this when we start talking about food? Because we have the fish fillet here in the corner. Sounds amazing right now. Um, I grew up... Oh, welcome back, Robin. Uh, I have my Mac with the custom hard drive before your time. Yeah. Yeah, the Color Classic 2. How old was I? I was in 10th grade, maybe? Or 9th grade? Uh, I don't know how old that would have made me, but yeah, it was a kind of a cool computer. I still had it, like, in the box. That one definitely went... Let's see. I think it's II for two. That one definitely went in the great mini storage auction. It would have been cool to still have this, but yeah, it had a little tiny screen on it. Um, a floppy disk drive, had a hard drive built in. I remember back then, all I wanted was a CD-ROM drive. If I could have a CD-ROM drive, I'd be so happy. <laughs> um, introductory price was $1,400. I'm pretty sure I got mine at CompUSA for like $900. Uh, it's a Motorola 68030. Um, the 16 or 33 megahertz. I'm trying to remember what hard drive it had. I think it was like 20 megabytes or something. Uh, does it say storage on here? Uh, color classic. Something about Italy upgrades. Oh wait, does it say what year this was? 1993 to 1995. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, I wonder what the hard drive was. 
Does it say here? Developer operating system CPU memory display. Uh, yeah, anyways, whatever. Anywho, I think we have another meme coming in here. Hang on, I'm going to make this fish fillet smaller. I think we might uh, wrap this up here in about 15 or 20 minutes or something like that. I feel like I need more food or something. <laughs> um, what's your plan with the Mac? Uh, wait, which Mac? I was, how did we start talking about that? Oh, we're talking about Newtons? I don't know, whatever. I'm not buying one of those. <laughs> Oh, yes, Fry's Electronics. Um, got back from the hospital doing okay. Ah, welcome back, Frank. They get things sorted out for you, at least for now. At least stable and all that stuff. Um, let's see here. Just looking at something real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think my brain is fading. Ooh, chicken wings. That sounds good. <coughs> so we have one more meme coming in, and I think we'll we'll probably call it a stream. I got a bit of stuff I need to clean up here before I can leave. I feel like this me this whatever this is is from Robin because it's printing in very high quality. <laughs> Just point the camera at the uh, printer and wait for it to come in. I'm not going to tell you, but how old do you think I am? That's the question. <clears throat> Stream. <clears throat> All right, we're 50% printed with whatever this is. Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, yeah, my brain's not working at all. A couple interesting projects coming up. Um, I don't remember what they are at the moment, though. Dan is definitely 90. You're pretty close, White Raven. <laughs> Said hi and then had to say goodbye. <laughs> Good luck on the best repair. Thank you, Stormtrooper. You're as young as, you're fe as you feel, says John C. Yes. Um. Oh, this appears to be Robin's face coming through the printer here. Uh, favorites. There we go. It's queuing up some Muzak. Uh-oh, I broke it. Refresh. Oh, that's right. I gotta figure out the driver situation on this computer. Or maybe a different video card or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Actually, what I'll probably do is downgrade to the previous version of OBS that I had that worked. And then disable updates. That's probably the thing to do. That involves not spending any money, and that would be preferable. The preview is kind of choppy on here. Is How's the video coming through on that end? Is that choppy at all? Oh, here we go. Oh, it looks like Robin eating something, maybe? Oh, that looks amazing. We have Robin here with... Uh, is that ice cream? With something on it? <laughs> uh, all right, let me shut down the meme server here. Before I forget. Oh, we got some more stuff coming in here. Uh, let's see, sign in. When you gotta spend like $400 on coolant, you don't buy a GPU. Exactly. I don't even know what I would buy. Like, or even what's compatible with this. I'll just downgrade this software. I, this exact same thing happened a few months ago. I don't know why I clicked the button. I just need to disable updates. So I'm not tempted to do it. Okay, suspend slash resume. There we go, suspend. Okay, and our closing song is called Grocery Store Blues by a cast of characters. At least I think that's what we're playing. We'll find out here. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And um, just remember, wherever you go, well, there you are. I don't even know what that means. Let's see what's our end screen here. Uh, it's blank. Uh, let's see here. Let's do, uh, let's see, donkeys? How about donkeys? I think that'll work. Uh, come on, load donkeys. There we go, donkeys and a fish fillet. May the fish fillets be with you, yes, says White Raven. All right, see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>